Hey guys, so today I wanted to show you something pretty interesting. It is about geometry and the only tools you'll need are a straight edge. It doesn't even need to have a scale, just a straight edge and a compass. So these are some problems that the Greeks were particularly interested in. They wanted to see what they can do and what they cannot do with a straight edge and compass only. Of course, you can have a pencil just to help you see how it looks like on the page. So for now, I'm going to give you a line segment. Let's call this line segment AB. And I want you to draw a line that is perpendicular to it. You can pause the video and try it on your own. And now I'm going to show you how the Greeks could do it. So then they would use a compass and then they set the compass at an angle. Oh, not at an angle, but at a specific radius. And then they just draw it cr across the line to the bottom. And then you can maybe adjust this compass. So now you can draw something like this. And then if you connect these two intersections here and here, you will get a perpendicular line to this segment AB. Let's call it CD. So CD is perpendicular to AB. Now why that is, I'm going to leave it to you to prove that it is indeed perpendicular. Maybe we'll show it in the next few videos. Now, we just drew something that is perpendicular to the line segment AB. What if we want something that is not only perpendicular, but also bisecting AB? So then we call it a perpendicular bisector. I am still going to give you a line segment AB. And notice that these methods work for any line segment. So the only thing we're going to do differently is that we're going to set the radius and don't let it change. And note that the radius must be greater than half of the line segment or else the, the arcs are not going to intersect or are going to intersect at only one point, and that's not helpful for our thing. So let's set it as this, or maybe smaller, like that. And then we center the circle at B. So we first draw something like this, and then we center it at A, and then we draw another line, another arc. It might look pretty gray, on the video, but just to show you, if we also call this C and we call this D, we connect these two and this se segment CD will be the perpendicular bisector of AB. So not only is it perpendicular, but it also bisects AB. And why that is, I'll leave it to you guys and then you guys can leave in the comments whether or not you figured it out. Thank you guys and see you next time.